Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic. And today we're going to be doing some more impractical engineering. Now, this idea is inspired from, I saw something in the comments that somebody mentioned about it would be cool to have expanding wheels. So I'm going to try to build them. I think there could actually be some practical utility to them. So it's not like a completely impractical concept, but um, I just don't think they're going to be that efficient. So the vision that I'm having in my head is I have to build a wheel, first of all, and I have to build it out of wood because obviously we can't expand an actual real wheel. Scrap Mechanic doesn't offer us any expandable materials. In order to expand things, you're going to have to use pistons or bearings or some type of moving parts to make things grow and change size. And that's also part of the reason why this is going to be impractical is because as these wheels expand, they're no longer going to be complete circles anymore because we're not going to be able to really fill in that space. But I've thought this through, used my big brain, and I think I've come up with a way that this could work using pistons. But first, what I'm going to have to do is figure out how small of a wheel I'm going to start with because our starting point is going to determine our ending point. Kind of, it just seems kind of obvious, doesn't it? So now I have the fun task that I always enjoy doing, which is building a circle in Scrap Mechanic. And you know what? This time, I'm actually going to use some wedge blocks on the wheels to make it more roundish, I guess. All right, this isn't the roundest wheel I've seen, but it is something. So now I think if I just delete some of the middle part here, add some pistons, and then I have to separate each quadrant of the wheel into its own separate piece so that they're going to be able to expand off of each other. Oh, and I think it's as simple as doing this. Oh, I probably should have welded that first. Oh no, what have I done? The whole thing just got detached from the centerpiece. <laughs> hold on, hold on, don't worry. I can recover from this. I can do this. Okay, is everything welded to the pistons now? Can I delete that? All right, let's test this thing out. I think that this might have been a, a way easier concept than I thought it was. I say this now when I haven't even gotten anywhere close to implementing it yet, but here, let's just hook this up to these and see how far we want to expand. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. This is interesting. I have ideas. I have ideas on how to implement this. How fast? I feel like do we want slow expansion because if we do it too fast, we're going to essentially create a jumping thing. But I think this is a good start. I think this is a great start to an expanding wheel. But we have these gaps here, but I have an idea. I have an idea for these gaps. I decided to give it some extra design elements to make it look cooler. I don't know. Does it look cooler? Looks cooler to me. All right, so here's what I'm going to do to fill in those gaps that I don't like. I'm going to put a bearing like that, and then if I weld this onto there, then what I can do is set a controller to set these wheels 45 degrees offset from each other, which will also probably make them more roundish working together. But then when they expand, each wheel should kind of link up with the other wheel when it comes to creating a full circle. I hope that's the that's the goal. You know, what? let's just do a quick test right here. I'll just put a random controller, put that on 45 degrees, and then I just need to hook this up into all of the pistons. All right, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Oh, that looks like a wheel, doesn't it? This is a real, maybe we can even go, can we go one more? Yeah, I think one more having a four extension is even better. Oh, look at that. I like this. This is, this concept is turning out to be so much cooler than I expected. Look at that, that looks so cool. All right, so now I need to build myself a car body and I'm gonna try to make it look somewhat like a car, not just a slab like I did in the last Impractical Engineering video. Because the last one, the mechanism itself was hard enough. This time the wheels were not too hard, so I could spend more time on the actual frame of the car itself. Okay, one thing I'm realizing I have to account for, I need to make sure that as these wheels expand, they're not going to expand into each other and conflict. I need to make sure that they're far enough apart because the, the amount of space these things take up, it's gonna be changing when they expand. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh man, I missed an opportunity here. I need to I need to edit this. I need to put a lot, I should have put a logic gate in the middle. I'm, I'm still gonna do it. This will just make my life so much easier having a logic gate right here. All right, there we go. And the reason why the logic gate is gonna be super useful is because now all I need to do is hook the logic gate up into all of these pistons. And then anytime I wanna hook up a switch to control all these pistons, I just gotta hook it up into the single logic gate and then it'll be good. And I gotta make sure these all get adjusted to the same height again, or distance. All right, now this wheel is good to go. All right, so now let's see how far these things expand next to each other. 
All right, that's doable. I think this is a good distance right here. I think we got this. You know, this is gonna be a good build when I start adding wedges to it. All right, this is very quickly turning from a car into a pickup truck and I'm okay with this. I'm actually gonna have to make these wheels extend out farther from the vehicle because when they're that big and you turn them, they're totally going to interfere with the vehicle. I can make them expand not only the wheels themselves, but also expand out from the vehicle too. That could be a thing. I'm gonna do it. All right, here's the last wheel. So it's gonna be a really weird looking pickup truck. It's gonna, I didn't realize how stubby the nose of the pickup truck was. We got the engine up there, it should function. All right, so now I just gonna hook up the controller to the second bearing on each of the wheels and it's gonna be set to 45 degrees. It's gonna make all the wheels do that special offset thing that we need them to do. And then make sure to hook up the steering. I am gonna have four wheel steering because I feel like the strength of this vehicle, if we're gonna try to make this in practical engineering as practical as possible, it's gonna be for climbing over things with ground clearance. The big benefit of this is expanding your ground clearance. We're gonna see just how impractical this impractical engineering really is. And I am giving it an electric engine because I think we're gonna need the torque from the electric engine for this. All right, and now we need the switch, which is going to expand our wheels. So we can hook that up to all of the logic gates instead of having to do every single individual piston, which would be a nightmare. And then also these four pistons, I suppose. Because as the wheels expand, we're gonna need them to extend out from our vehicle a little bit so we can still turn without colliding with ourselves. All right, now let's paint this thing up and test it out. All right, I think this thing is ready for its maiden voyage. These wheels are completely untested, even in their contracted state. So let's drive it around a little bit. Our, our turning is good. Our turning definitely wouldn't be good if we expanded right now. But let's drive it around a little bit as is, see how it feels. Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Wait, wait, let's expand. All right, the wheels don't touch each other when they expand naturally. Oh! <laughs> This did not have the intended results. <laughs> I forgot that pistons, they kind of get stretched with centripetal force. This is not good. This is really not good. But at the same time, it's kind of amazing. Look at that. Don't do that though. Can you not? This is not what was meant by expanding wheels at all. Oh no, god, it expands all the way past the point it's supposed to expand. This reminds me of those like, those sphere toy things that you can pull and expand. And they're like a spiky ball and they expand into like a round ball. But uh, this is, uh, this is, this is a problem. All right, obviously the, the, the obvious thing to do is just turn down the speed. So we can't go as fast, but we can have some more control. All right, there we go. Let's find the maximum speed without expansion. All right, that seems to be good. Oh, there's a little bit, just a little bit of expansion going on here. But I feel like this is tolerable. I think this is tolerable, only a little bit of expansion. I, I want intentional expansion, not unintentional expansion. I wanna be in control. Man, I really wish I could go faster with this. Oh, this was a little bit of a mistake. Just a little bit of a mistake. All right, let's see what happens if I uh, try to drive over this. You know, I think I need to be heavier. Maybe a little bit heavier. I think I'm kind of light when it comes to off-roading here. So let's add some concrete slab to the bottom, especially more so at the bottom front, maybe a little bit less on the back like that. All right, this should give us some more weight to work with. All right, here we go. It should be a lot more beefy now. Let's, uh, we need some, we need like an off-roading section. We need, I need some rocks, some, some good rocks. How about if I just try to get over this? All right, no problem. Oh no, we're kind of stuck. Whatever shall I do? Well, let's press the button and see what happens. There we go. And then we can just, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Uh, I, I, you know, they're, they're fine at a slow speed as you can see, but as it goes that little bit faster, they start colliding with each other. Oh, you know what? Oh, look at that though. Is it colliding with me? It is colliding with me. All right, hold on. We just got to change these to two distance. And then this should get rid of the collision issue, at least with the wheels turning against my side. All right, so now when I turn, you can see they are not colliding with my side. So, contracted, expanded. 
This is good. All right, I do need to make it so these wheels aren't gonna collide with each other though. And I think, let me save this first in case I mess anything up. But I think the easiest solution is to literally just cut this in half. I think I could do it right here. And then I'm going to add two more blocks worth of thickness to this. All right, I think we're good to go. This is two blocks longer. Let's see if that makes the wheels no longer collide with each other. Oh, it's so close to being perfect. All right, we need to add another two blocks maybe. Okay, now we should be good to go. Please don't collide. They still, they still collide. We're going too fast. This is the next slowest option I have and it totally works, but it just feels too slow. All right, and here is the contracted state. Oh, it is so slow. I, don't, I really didn't think this was the issue I was gonna have to deal with. But you know what? It's a pretty smooth ride. The suspension, the suspension is working great. Look at that suspension go with the unevenness of the wheels. Like this is first person. First person actually feels like a really nice ride. All right, so here's some rocks. We can climb up some of these rocks over here. All right, it's a slow going ride, but let's see what happens if we do not expand the wheels as we try to climb up this. Basically, I kind of made like a, a versatile rock climber. I think this, oh, look at that. That was no problem. That was no problem at all. What we need to do is we need to find a problem spot that only the uh, expanded wheels can solve. Then this goes from impractical engineering to practical engineering, except for the fact that our speed is kind of actually impractical due to the limitations of the wheels. All right, this section right here looks like it'll be interesting to try, except there's that tree right in the way. Oh, looks like we've already bottomed out. Well, a simple expansion will solve that issue just like that. This actually, this is, I, I'm, I'm more and more hesitant to call this impractical. This is feeling nicer and nicer. Look at the, that, this looks like a legitimate piece of engineering now. To be able to do that, that seems so useful. This is, I feel like this might exist in real life. Does this exist in real life? All right, here, I just kind of feel like I want to expand as I go down naturally rather than doing it in response. <gasps> you think I can get up this? Oh, all right, expand the wheels. Thank you. I want to try this. First, I'm going to try it without the expansion and then I want to try it with the expansion. I don't know. This is like a cliff almost. This is a significant drop. All right, well, here I am like this, can't do it. And then I expand. This is kind of an awesome build. This is actually kind of a really awesome build. All right, you know what? Let's just see how far we can take it. All right, expand, please. There we go. Eh. I don't want to expand too much because it, it raises my center of mass, which makes me more likely to tip over. But so far, this is doing pretty decent. It's, there's no way, there's not enough friction for this part here. All right, I've turned the engine up again because now we're not gonna be reaching our max speed when we're climbing anyway. But I just wanna see what kind of impact it's gonna have. Uh-oh, this is too vertical. Yeah, I don't think this thing is meant for cliff climbing. I think, <laughs> oh no, now it's doing the thing again. Oh, why did you have to do this to me? It would be so, this would be a so much better speed if the pistons just weren't that weak. All right, but the cool thing about this is uh, it actually doesn't really tip over that easy. And when it does, it seems to be able to recover. Here, I'll tip it over intentionally. All right, we're sideways. Let's see what happens when we drive now. Can we get ourselves up? Look at that, no problem. This thing can get up so easy. What happens if it tips over upside down? I'm curious what the wheel expansion will do in that scenario. All right, now we're upside down. There's clearly nothing I can do from this situation here, but if I expand my wheels, <laughs> I can actually drive upside down. There is just enough ground clearance to drive upside down. I do not, however, think I can flip myself back over from this position, but hey, this is still a plus. I mean, worst case scenario, we could probably find a vertical wall drive up against it and end up flipping ourselves back over. Let's try it out. All right, here it goes, come on. Look at that, no problem at all. And then we can just contract our wheels and be on our merry way like a perfectly normal looking pickup truck. Nothing off about this at all. <laughs> Guys, I'm still actually surprised at how practical this impractical concept ended up being. Oh, you know what? I also just realized that expanding the wheels makes you go faster too because you have more surface area that the wheels are actually rolling over. So look at that. We totally pick up speed because they're still spinning at the same speed, but they're covering more area in one rotation. That's kind of cool. All right, here, let's try some climbing in first person and see what it feels like. I'm hoping that I can't get up this in the normal mode. Eh, can we do it? 
Oh, uh, no, we appear to be stuck. No worries. Got my impractical engineering to have some practical effects. And then we just continue on our way, just like that. Oh, I didn't realize I could go all the way around in my seat like that. Well, you just press the button and your wheels get bigger. And you can climb up the rocks, no problem. Am I doing a good sales pitch right now? Is this a good commercial for the expanding wheels concept? I feel like this would be useful for like a Mars rover or something. You have you have trade-offs in each version. In this form, you got your lower center of mass, which equals some more stability, less likely to flip over. You have a smaller profile so you can fit into smaller spaces. And then uh, this has more ground clearance at the cost of a little bit less stability. Also, this has more speed. So you can get over things easier, but you can't fit in such a small space. And uh, yeah, there's definitely some costs and benefits to each, each version, each mode. I am officially a fan of the expanding wheels concept. I think this was an overwhelming success and I am impressed with how well it turned out. If you guys are impressed with how this turned out as well, then make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more awesome content on the channel like this, then you might wanna check out some of the stuff on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.